Hello everyone out there in Writerland. Uh, my name is Sue Copsey and uh, I'm a book editor and also I write junior fiction and also adult fiction under my pseudonym Olivia Hayfield. Um, I've been asked today to have a quick word with you about this book, um, The Ghosts of Tarawera, which is set in the central North Island. Uh, it's part of a series of three these are the other two. This one's set out on the East Coast and this one is set in Otago and they're for children aged 7 to 12. Um, so this one was inspired by um, the legend of the Phantom Waka of Lake Tarawera which I learned about when I was editing a school book on the volcanoes. And the legend says that 11 days before Mount Tarawera erupted back in the 1800s a phantom walker was seen on the lake by a party of sightseers and the local Maori were very perturbed by this because they saw it as an omen of death. And sure enough, 11 days later, the volcano erupted catastrophically. Um, the pink and white terraces were completely destroyed, major um, world attraction. They were like one of the wonders of the world. Um, and so the premise of my book was, well, what if a couple of boys were out on the lake and they saw this phantom rocker, like in modern day? Um, because I'd read at the bottom of this article about the phantom rocker that if ever the mountain was going to erupt again, the phantom rocker would reappear. So that was the premise for my book. And the two boys see the phantom walker and they have to convince the local scientists and um, the authorities that the mountain is about to erupt when all the instruments are saying well nothing much is going on. I had lots and lots of fun writing that one. Um, so I've also been asked to share a tip and to come up with a, an exercise. So my tip, this is as an editor and an author, and I'm sure you've heard it before, but I can't say it often enough, is that when you've finished your first draft of your manuscript, or even your second, third, you've done some editing, you've got it the best you think it can be, just put it away um, and try and forget about it. For three or four weeks, maybe, you know, a good resting period, a marinating period. Uh, and after that time, come back at it not as its author but as a reader you know just come at it completely fresh you'll be astonished at what strikes you about it that you hadn't realized before so that's my my major tip is marinate your manuscript and as a writing exercise I thought you could perhaps try and write a, a spooky short story for children and um, think about how you inject that tension in, how you get those tingles running up and down their spine. Um, use all your senses and smell, sound, um, touch, you know, does something touch them on the back of the neck, do, their, do the hairs on the back of their neck stand up? Um, all those little things not to give them nightmares because the parents won't love you for that, just to get those tingles running up and down their spine. Anyway, I hope you have fun with that and uh, Enjoy the festival. Goodbye.